anything for a cookie, huh? I want a cookie too. I'm about to go on a 10-day uh, a diet, so there will be a link to that video when it shows up. Good. Cookie. I'm going to have a cookie too. Soon all I'm going to be eating is eggs, so. This is for me. Um. <laughs> Here, one more cookie for you. You got it, and one more cookie for me. Huh? Um, one more cookie. Oh, wow. Do you want to play with snakes? Yeah? Eat your cookie and let's go get a snake. Today we're going to teach you how to hold a snake. You'd be surprised, but... Well, I guess we can't blame people because they don't know how. It seems like a silly thing, but when you hold a snake in a bad way, you scare the snake, and if you scare the snake, then it, what does it do? It bites you, right? You want it to bite you? No, no, we don't want the snakes to bite you, so we don't want to scare them. The only snake bites we want are these ones. The big snake goes, and the little snake goes, and the big snake goes, and the little snake goes, <laughs> Okay, eat your cookie. And then let's go. Okay, go. Let's go. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can you get Jack? Where's Jack? No, no, no. Jack's there. Get Jack. So now, watch with what confidence she uses to get Jack. Give me Jack. Give me Jack. Thank you. No, Jack's in there. Get me Jack. Thank you. Yeah, give me Jack. <laughs> it's good to have respect. But come on, there you go, grab Jack. Give me Jack. Yeah, two hands, just grab Jack, it's okay. It's totally fine. Good. <laughs> okay, look, look Avery, look. Jack is fine. See? You scare Jack, Jack scares you, it happens. Okay, what about one of these? You wanna grab one of these guys? You want to grab? Oh, no, they're hiding. No. What about one of these? You want to grab one of those? Look. Oh, they're so cute. Grab, grab one. You want to play with the snake? Go play. Woo! Yeah, that's Jack. So you see, right from baby, you want to hold them from underneath. When you hold them from underneath, it helps them feel more secure. Jack is a little scared sometimes because Avery actually is a little rough with him sometimes and then he gets scared, she gets scared. Jack's learned that he can hiss and then that makes Avery not want to hold him. So he's winning the game right now. Yeah. Are you scared of Jack? You want to pet Jack? You want to come say hi? Avery, want to come say hi? Here, just say hi. No, no, he's not going to bite you. Here, come say hi. Don't worry, come say hi. <laughs> You're so funny. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Say hi. Say hello, Jack. There, gentle. Oh, you're so funny. Do you want to get one of the boas? Get one. No? It's funny. I, if I don't want her to go get them, she'll go get them. Just like in this little clip. Let's let's show a little clip of the first time that she grabbed the boa. That's that's your boy, isn't it? Yeah. You gonna take it out? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be gentle. Gentle. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna you wanna put her around your neck? Good girl. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Avery. No, you don't need any more. You already got one. You gotta be gentle. Yeah, you just wanna get all the animals out of everywhere, don't you? Okay, put Jack back in there. Bye. Bye, Jack. I'm gonna show you a snake that like I've I've raised, so you'll see that. Well, there's two snakes in here. There's one that I raised, and he's totally fine. He's chill. You can see how she's behaving. She's already starting to retreat. She's looking at what I'm doing with him. He doesn't even really care. Like, he's, he's pretty chill. And I, I go in, and I grab him, and I do it from underneath. Look at her pose. Like, just look at hers. 
See how she's scared? She's kind of like a little, like, keep away from me. So I didn't raise this snake. I got it from someone else. That's how she behaves. But now let's look at him. So I'm holding him. And as you can see, he's very comfortable. He's not scared of me. He's not striking or anything. He's just exploring and looking around. This is Ty. Avery, want to say hi to Ty? Gentle. Gentle. Oh, I don't know what's up with her today. Usually she's totally happy. So as you can see, even with one hand, I'm supporting him nicely. I'm holding him from underneath. I'm making him feel secure. What, the, you, ne what you never want to do is when you grab, go from on, see how automatically he already is like, oh, what's happening, am I safe? You don't go from on top. When you go from on top, then that's where their predators would be coming from. If a bird was coming from above, that's where they'd be coming from above. So you always want to go underneath, scoop them, handle them from underneath, go from underneath. Another thing that some people do, which drives me nuts, they'll pretend that they're like cats or dogs or something. So they'll go and they'll dangle their hand here and be like, ooh, smell me, smell me, am I okay? Smell me. And for that, what you have to understand is they're sensitive to heat. Or they'll feel the heat from your hand wiggling in front of their face and that'll get them nervous. They'll think maybe it's a rodent or something. The heat signature can get them nervous and by dangling it in front of their face, you're just kind of asking to get bit. So don't do that, just be gentle. Handle them from underneath. Also hold them from underneath. So sometimes you'll hand it to someone or somebody goes to grab one and they, they grab it like this. And they'll be holding it like this. And I'll show you with this. I can show with him how not to do it because he is pretty comfortable with me. Also when they wrap around you, they're wrapped around you to support themselves. They don't have arms or legs, so what are they supposed to do, right? So this would be how not to handle a snake. You don't go around handling a snake like this, ooh look I'm holding it, and like sometimes people will do that, or they'll hold one, they'll be scared, so they barely want to hold it, so they'll just be like, and they'll start getting scared, and they'll start going like this, and like look at it, it has no support, that can scare it, that could freak it out, and that's a great way to get the snake to bite you. If you don't want to get bit by the snake, you have to be confident, you have to be comfortable. They really don't care half as much as you think they do. So you have to just act like it doesn't matter. It's all good. We're friends. And if you just don't care and you calm down, they'll calm down, they'll be happy, and everyone's happy. So this is easy. This is with a snake that I've raised, and he's totally fine. Now we're going to show the defensive snake. So come from here. Let's catch this. And what I'm going to do with her is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull her out and I'm going to take her for a little walk. Okay, so you, as you can see, she's defensive, she's all secure in there. I'm just going to go and grab her. I'm not really hesitating, so you see I'm grabbing her, I'm scooping her from underneath. She's kind of trying to get away almost. See that? So she is defensive and I have to be careful with her. So this is Fade, and Fade is a little bit scared. And she makes the positions, she keeps making the, um, the looks like she's going to bite me. Like she, she draws back, she looks at me, she was trying to get away, now she's not trying to get away. Because even though she's not that comfortable and she's a little insecure, I'm secure, I'm not scaring her, I'm not freaking out. And, and people have said, you know, snakes can sense fear. They cannot sense fear, but what they can feel, they can feel your heat, they can feel your heartbeat. So if you're holding a snake and you're freaking out and your heart is pounding, they're gonna feel that and they're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this, this person's freaking out. Why are they freaking out? Should I be freaking out? So this is what I'll do. I'll sit or I'll hang out with her and she's not really trying to run away. She might soon, but she is a little bit anxious. So when you have a snake that is anxious, you just gotta relax, spend more time with it and eventually it'll hopefully get comfortable with you. Sometimes they don't. But as you can see, she doesn't really like being handled, and that's why it's so important to handle her properly. Because I, I can guarantee you, if if just anyone came and tried to grab her and tried to handle her, they'd probably get scared, scare her, and then she'd bite them. And it wouldn't be her fault, it would be their fault. Anytime you get bit by a snake, it's always your fault. It's never their fault. 
because they're just scared. But she doesn't want to bite me. She just wants to kind of be left alone. And I'm pestering her, maybe. But at the same time, then there's people that'll say, oh, don't handle your snake. You shouldn't handle them. It's not beneficial to them. It doesn't do anything for them. But it, it does, because you get them to get past this stage of being scared, and then they get to a point where they're like, hey, man, you're going to take me out. That's going to be nice. Like the other guy that I took out, he, he wasn't scared at all. A little bit anxious, but eventually she's going to calm down. And then it'll get to the point where she likes being out, and she likes exploring, and likes going outside. But right now, at this point, I wouldn't let other people hold her. I wouldn't let kids pet her. But, um, if she spends enough time outside, enough time being handled properly, then she'll become sweet. And I think she's sweet already. So, that's that. Let's put her away. So once again, to emphasize how to handle, always handle from underneath. Always hold them securely. Don't hold them by just the back. Don't hold them by just the front. Try and get the back and the front. Just don't go from on top. Don't be grabbing like this. Scoop underneath. Hold them nicely from underneath, from both sides. Don't wrap them around your neck if you're not super comfortable and they're not comfortable with you. If it's a snake that you've had for a long time and you know it and it knows you, then sure, wrap it around your neck. You don't have to worry about it biting you in the face. And there's lots of snakes that I'll just wrap around my neck and I know are totally fine. When I buy a new snake, I don't treat it like that. There was a, um, there was a story actually on the news a while ago where some lady rescued some boa. So she got a brand new boa and what did she do? She treated it like all her others. She wrapped it around and it bit her in the face. And then that goes on the news and everyone's like, oh, they're terrible creatures, they're terrible creatures, the snake bit her in the face. And it's just like, that lady was an idiot. You don't put a snake near your face when it doesn't know you, when you're not comfortable with it, and when you know it's not safe. With her, I don't really feel scared at all, but I know she feels a little bit scared of me, so I just have to respect that, put the time in, and eventually she'll be a lovely snake. Let's say goodbye. There we go. Also, having her in a small tub like this helps her feel more secure. If I had her in a bigger place, she would be more anxious. When she is outside, she freaks out. That's that. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Are there any more cookies? No, you ate them all. You ate all the crumbs too. Okay. Say bye bye. Okay, yeah, no more cookies.